Well, here we are visiting Connecticut, and we're going to take a tour of the Pez Candy Factory. So this will be pretty fun. So I'll show you what they do inside. Okay, so in the entrance, there's this really cool motorcycle. It's made by the, what are they? Orange County. Orange County Choppers. They made this Pez bike. Isn't that cool? Just for many miles. Just for many miles to ride. That's right. In the entry with all the history. Look at these guys. The German word for pepper is peppermint. Mr. Haas took the first, you know, and last letter of the word peppermint and created the easy to remember names we know today. Got animals. I'm looking for a chicken. Oh, good, they got a rooster. Totally have to get this rooster and go for my kitchen. We just have hundreds of different ones. So I'll just do a quick look around and then we're going to take a little tour and see how Pez candies are made. Oh, look, little mini Pez. Those are cute. Here's the Pez girl outfit. Some of the different candies. I love doing these little factory tours. They're fun. The little Pez clickers they used to have. So we'll go for our tour now. So our first ingredient, can anyone guess? Sugar! Alright. So it's raw, granulated sugar. It's the same table sugar that you guys have at home. If you look at picture number one, now that's a picture of our sugar silo that's behind our building, that holds 70,000 pounds of raw granulated sugar. So weekly, we use about 100,000 pounds a week. First step is to break it down to smaller pieces, similar to confectionery sugar, which mm. looks like that. That allows for color absorption, flavor absorption, and it's a lot easier to convert. If you look at picture number two, there's a conveyor that moves the sugar and breaks it down to the smaller pieces, and it drops into the large stainless steel bowl. Now the bowl is sitting on a scale. Once that reaches 600 pounds, it'll stop filling. We'll bring the bowl out, bring it to our flat granulate mixer, and that's where we're gonna add the fruit flavoring, the coloring, and there is a corn syrup that's sprayed during the mixing process. It takes about 50 minutes. Once it's complete, this is what it looks like. This is raspberry lemon. As you can see, it's still pretty dry before it gets mm. compressed. These are just examples of our food coloring that we use. Now this is very concentrated. This is good for one 600 pound mix. When we pull the bowl out, we'll insert it into what we call a rotator, which will flip the bowl upside down, releasing the contents into a tote. If you look at the top of picture number four, what looks like a funnel is our tote that holds 1,200 pounds of this mixture, and that makes about 800,000 tablets. So daily, we make about 12 million tablets a day, which is wow. a million rolls of candy. So we make the candy for the entire United States right here in this facility, as well as for Canada. It'll get released into our tablet press machine, where, where it takes 3,000 pounds of pressure to condense the candy. It'll drop it into those blue bins, which are all flavor coated for a specific flavor. It'll make its way to our wrapping room, which in picture number five is our wrapping machine. We'll pour the tablets into a hopper, it'll start vibrating, making its way down to 12 pieces of candy, getting it prepped for wrapping. So this big machine here is called a Siegler. It's original. So here's like, I guess this is a specialty case, and there is a ladybug 
Swarovski crystal dispenser that was given away to VIPs as a promotional item. Look at that. I bet you wouldn't be able to buy that one anywhere. I know you do, but you can't have it. Oh, hey, there's a, a Pez pocket knife. No place for your candy, though. Here's plaster mock-ups. This is pretty cool. Oh, look, a little bride and groom. Oh, look at the Casper one. He's got little Casper designs. Super cute. So these are the original dispensers before they put heads on them. They were just a candy dispenser. Like in that ad. Pretty clever. Almost like a lighter.